no, 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 no. Now, I'm going to warn you that if you are squeamish, if you are faint of heart, if you have small children, that you maybe want to send them in the other room because this is perhaps the most painful oof I've ever seen. It made me, for just a split second, feel bad for someone who has arguably the worst takes on the internet. I'm talking about Movie Bob. Last night, there was a single tweet in which I saw a man turn into a pile of dust. Now, if you don't know who Movie Bob is, you're probably new to the internet or you don't care about irrelevant hot take artists. But let me give you just a few of his greatest hits. Movie Bob used to work for The Escapist. Then he was gone. Then he was back. Then he was fired. Uh, and, and ultimately, his videos are uh, pseudo-intellectual movie reviews sped up extremely fast so you miss that he doesn't really know what he's talking about here's just a few of his hot takes there are days when my fondest wish is that eugenics hadn't been tainted as a science by the bad guys from ww2 you call them weekdays how about this one there are times when I really hate that Jim Crow era people pretty much ruin the idea of intelligence tests for voting. How about this one? 2019, I was supposed to be on a starship by now, conversing with intelligent robots, deciding what sort of body I'd like to upload my immortal consciousness to, and said we're still on this rock, wondering how to placate the white working class. How about this? Mountain Dew marinated chicken with mango, carrot, and spicy rice. That's some of the favorites. You, of course, have the Movie Bob book, of course. The climactic reveal of Smash Brothers 3 is burned, no seared into my memory, the way JFK was for my parents or the events that happened on 9-11. He has some of the worst hot takes. How about this one? So has enough time passed at the point that it wouldn't be too awkward for the Germans to swing in and take care of this obviously dangerous nutcase running Poland before he gets all evil? Or is this one of those dirty jobs we get to do once we're on the quote, good team again? That was this year. I'd been saving every soda slash beer can I drank in a new apartment since I moved in in August. Tonight, they fell down. Okay. Why? In other words, even the, quote, positive stereotype of the nerd, genius, geniusness with childlike decency but no social skills, comes largely from a bit we would likely see as a form of autism blackface, the third element to this fandom culture, which has its own issues. How about this one? Somebody offers you $3,500 to finish everything on this tray in 90 minutes. Would you do it? Could you? He says, that's a very, fairly small amount of McDonald's for an average sized person. Are you kidding me? A double quarter pounder. Two 10-piece nuggets, two large fries, four sodas, a quarter pounder, and more food below that. The main reason fast food cooks are so fast and last so short is that there isn't much density to it. I wouldn't want to eat that double helping of nuggets in the time frame, but I could easily. That's a, that's, you know, that's a good one. How about this one? Don't ever tell me that I'm wrong to look down my nose at the rest of humanity again. Look at what we've done and failed to do. This is not the America that we went to the moon, won WW2, or even invented McDonald's. That's past now. I didn't want to believe it. 
Economic problems don't make you racist. That happens from personal failings, mostly ignorance. Hardship doesn't change character. It reveals it. These so-called white working class Trumpers had their chance. We've seen what they are. F them. I mean, there are millions. Donald Trump stole my summer, my Halloween, my ability to enjoy life itself for four years, and people who would r later help him steal the presidency in the first place ruined my professional life and put me in the debt hole. I'm only barely back from years. I mean, Donald Trump didn't tell you how to spend your money. I mean, I, I don't understand. You know, some of the, some of the, you know, some of the other obvious, you know, early Bob Chipman. There he is there, you know, again, comparing, you know, Pokemon and terrible things. This is movie Bob. He is largely a internet lol cow. Now you look at his Twitter and you see it's been protected. You wonder, how did it get there? A man that would proudly support eugenics that would say the terrible things he says about other people what could have possibly led him to protect his twitter well my friends if you haven't yet make sure you click like on this video and that you click that red subscribe button down below it on youtube or if you're watching on an alternate alternative platform make sure you subscribe there whatever they may call it whether you're on bitchute rumble or odyssey so they're protected what happened what happened bob even if what i said was true this is a thread what's wrong with having a group chat lamau like it's not some secret nefarious thing i have group chats it's a nice place to talk to friends then you see Lindsay ellis uh, who is also insufferable i know right i've uncovered the conspiracy of people being friends with their peers i think they're talking i think they're to trying to dunk on Peter Coffin in this thread. Uh, and then you see Movie Bob sliding in and saying, I, for one, am positively shocked. And you see Movie Bob with Lindsay Ellis in a selfie. He just had that ready to go, right? Post that in response about being friends with Lindsay Ellis. Nothing wrong so far. Bob is feeling good about himself. Bob is feeling like things are turning around. Even though Donald Trump has ruined Bob's life, he still has this selfie with the Lindsay Ellis. Now, I will say, please do not contact any of these people. This is for our enjoyment only. To which Bob deletes his tweet. Why did Bob delete his tweet? Well, let's look at how Lindsay replied. This is honestly really inappropriate and creepy, dude. A selfie at a con several years ago does not mean we are friends. Also, the fact that I have soft blocked you like six times and you always refollow is creepy. Take the hint and please leave me alone. Oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> Oh, oh, Bob. No, Bob, say it isn't so. Now, for those of you that don't know what a soft block is, it's when you block and unblock somebody who's following you, so essentially it unfollows. It makes them unfollow you. It's a way to block somebody without actually blocking them. And, of course, the tweets are now protected, and he must have a sad coom. Uh, of course, the, you know, hope he picks up enough Mountain Dew packed marinated chicken space travel can be quite a long time. Now, normally, this would just be brutal. But when it's when it happens to a man that has said such heinous things about his fellow Americans, you take a little extra joy in it, just a little extra spice in the whole conversation, because this is one of the most brutal oofs on the planet how about this one when you think about it the mutants and x-men make a much better metaphor for being white than being any sort of minority they get special powers just by being born organized in the east coast private school and even the good ones who fight the bad ones are kind of smug about it there are no good stupid people 
and entire generations should grow up understanding that above all else, the absolute worst, most despicable thing as a human being, a human being can be, is unintelligent. See, when it's statements like that, it's statements like that that make me feel joy, that make me find a silver lining in you getting absolutely destroyed creeping on a woman. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.